Welcome back. While several COVID-19 vaccines have been approved in the US, research still ongoing now into cures or a way to prevent people from getting sick with the virus. And one study that has made headlines recently comes from the Cleveland Clinic. So the study found that a commonly used over-the-counter supplement may be very effective in the fight against COVID-19. Ian Smay of our CREM2 vaccine team spoke with one of the lead researchers about their findings and what's next. Ian. Yeah, as the scientific and medical communities have shifted their focuses to battling the coronavirus, most news has been about the vaccines being rolled out around the country and around the world. But one group of researchers here in the U.S. has made waves with promising results that something many of us already have in our homes may help in the fight against the pandemic. The idea is we try to identify the drug FDA originally approved for other diseases may, you know, potentially treat the COVID-19. Dr. Fai Zheng Chang and his team did a study finding that melatonin is, quote, significantly associated with a 28% reduced likelihood of a positive COVID-19 test. For African Americans, this reduced likelihood can go all the way up to 52%. The team decided to screen a wide range of possible drugs, about 3,000 by Chang's estimate. Chang says his team searched for substances that may block COVID-19 virus proteins from interacting with human body proteins. But melatonin provided some positives, others didn't. We pick up the melatonin because, like you mentioned, melatonin drug is very cheaper. And we see the availability we can easily buy from the OTC from the market. And the beauty is the melatonin is the hormone generated by our body, means the toxicity effect for mel melatonin is very low. So what's next for the possibility of melatonin being used in the fight against COVID? According to Chang, it depends on getting a big enough recruitment of patients for the next phases of the study but he's confident that this will happen in the not too distant future. Our timeline is hopefully we can get it in the next few months or maybe half a year, we can get the final results you know, for this trail. Move on, I just had a quick question for you, really asking is melatonin the only drug that they're researching right now as another way of possibly preventing COVID? Actually, uh, no, a breast cancer drug also showed some positive results, including when used with melatonin. But one thing that melatonin does have over something like a breast cancer drug is the wide availability and that lack of toxicity of other harmful side effects. He also said that vitamin D has been showing promising signs in other studies as well, Whitney.